What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. We are back yet again bringing you guys some more competitive VGC Double Battles for Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Pokemon Shine and Pearl. In today's video, we're going to be showcasing one of the only fire types in BDSP, Houndoom. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on this video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, take two seconds out of your day, just scroll down a little bit and click that big red subscribe button. While you're there, hit that notification bell so you know when my videos go live. But if you guys played through BDSP and did a playthrough of this game, you guys know that uh, Pokemon Diamond and Pokemon Pearl lack in fire types. So Houndoom is one of the only fire types in this game, and he's really strong and really cool Pokemon all around. But let's get started here with today's team preview. We're rocking out with Houndoom in that front spot. It is a dark and fire type, and we gave it the Focus Ash as its item so it doesn't get one tapped. Nature for this Pokemon is going to be Flash Fire, and then its EVs are going to be fully invested into Special Attack and Speed. Move set for this guy is Flamethrower for Stab, Dark Pulse for another Stab move, then we got Nasty Plot to set up that Special Attack boost and Protect for its fourth and final move. Second Pokemon on squad is going to be our support Sableye over here. And Sableye is going to help Houndoom get set up because it has Fake Out for turn 1 flinches. Then it also has Quash, which makes opposing a Pokemon go last in the turn. We also have Knock Off for Stab and for taking off items. And then we got Taunt to Taunt opposing support mods. Nature for this Pokemon, or not Nature, ability is going to be Prankster. And then item for this guy is going to be that Metal Herb, so him himself cannot be taunted. Third Pokemon on squad is going to be Gyarados. You guys know I love my boy Gyarados over here with that Life Orb and that intimidate ability its moveset is fairly normal we got waterfall we got ice fang we got dragon dance set up and then we got protect for our final move fourth pokemon on squad is going with the raikou and raikou is actually very powerful and very bulky in this game it's got thunderbolt for stab we gave it calm mind to set up that special defense and that special attack boost and then we got snarl to drop special attack and last but not least you guys know protect is one of the best moves in the game so we gave him that as well he's got inner focus as its ability and then item it is holding is leftovers because like i said it is bulky so we're just going to be constantly giving it hp at the end of every single turn fifth pokemon on squad it's going to be choice scarf Gardevoir, and i absolutely love this Gardevoir because it is very strong and it outspeeds a lot of pokemon with that choice scarf its ability is going to be telepathy so it cannot be hit by opposing pokemon or opposing ally pokemon and then move set for this guy is going to be moonblast psychic dazzling gleam and focus blast Final Pokemon on the squad is going to be Tyranitar. I love Tyranitar. He's just like Gyarados. He can really be brought in on any single team and make the team 10 times better. He's got Protect. He's got Dragon Dance's set up. He's got Crunch and Rock Slide for Stab. Ability is going to be Sandstream. Obviously, you know, Weather Control is huge in this game. And then last but not least, the item he is holding is going to be that Lumberry. But guys, there's the Houndoom team preview. Let's hop to that Coliseum. Look to get some wins with it. First battle coming at you guys, and we're going up against a really cool team. He's got himself a Swift Swim, Ludicolo, and Pelipper Rain team, alongside with Raikou, Garchomp, Breloom, and Lopunny. Lopunny is definitely a strong Pokemon. Definitely got to watch out for that, but I might just lead my boy over here, my shiny German Sableye. He works really well. He's a great support mod. I could also lead it with the Houndoom. The Houndoom's not too bad, but I definitely have to watch out for that weather. Weather is definitely a problem for us, so hmm, I don't want to do this. I definitely want to go him. I kind of want to go Houndoom here as well. I think uh, Gardevoir is going to be great. I'm going to go Houndoom just because we're showcasing him. I'm going to bring Gardevoir in the back end. And then last but not least, I either want Gyarados or I want Titar. I kind of lean towards Titar just in case we want to switch up that weather and kind of get rolling from there. It could definitely work well for us. That might be my play. That might be my play. Hmm. Is that what I want to do? I think that's what I want to do. We're going to do that. We're going to lock it in. We're going to lock it down. We're going to look to grab ourselves a win here in battle number. But I was going to bring Gyarados just for that Ice Fang on that Garchomp. But we do have Gardevoir with the Choice Scarf, which is going to work really well. And he's going to end up leading these two. So this isn't too bad. Houndoom and mm, Breloom. Breloom's kind of annoying. I, I might just flamethrower it right off the right. But I definitely want to fake out that low Pony, right? I want to fake out that low Pony and maybe set up a Nasty Plot. Could do that. Go here and I could just set a Flamethrower, but he could be swapping. So I'm going to go for the Nasty Plot setup. I'm definitely going to go for that Nasty Plot. I really like it. Witch Rolls the Breloom. Beautiful turn for us. Beautiful turn for us. So he swaps the Breloom into maybe Pelipper or Ludicolo. It's going to be Pelipper. But we're setting up a Nasty Plot instead, so I really do like this turn. I am digging this turn. Let's see what the low pony is going to do. Hopefully my, my Sableye can just fake it out. Yep, beautiful. So solid first turn for us. We get this set up. And what can I do from here? I could quash the Pelipper and get rid of it. I could quash the Pelipper and just dump on it. I really do like that turn. And then just take off... Mm, do we think Houndoom already outspeeds? Let me see your speed, Houndoom. How fast are you? You're timid. You should be able to outspeed that Pelipper. So I don't think we have to quash that. I think we can just actually take off this thing's item right here. And then roll into a nice, lovely Dark Pulse to try and finish off this Pelipper. So our Nasty Pot set up, and I really like that. And we do have Focus Ash on top of that. Low Pony might be faster than my Houndoom. 
we're gonna see right now but a solid first turn from us especially in the ring and then if i have to obviously i can you know swap into t-tar at any point in the match and just take weather from him because we know that he has the pelper so ludicolo has to be other pokemon right so we kind of know his whole team he has breloom he has pelper he has, he's gonna entrain me he's gonna, oh he's gonna take my prankster or is he gonna give me something else Amy Cuts. I don't even know what that does. What does Cuts even do? But Dark Pulse is going to fly here. We do outspeed that. Show me no focus ash. We just take it out. Beautiful. That's a huge turn for us. What does Cuts do? What What does that do? I've never seen that before. I'm going to use knockoff. What does that do? I kind of want to see. We're going to take off its item. It's lagging tail. Kind of lagging tail. Wow. We probably should have kept that on there. <laughs> we probably should have kept that on there. But hold up. I want to see what Cuts does. I got an extra monitor for a reason. Let me look this up. Cuts. Pokemon ability. What does this do? Let's see. It says, uh, gotta find it. Ability, bump, bump, bump. Clutch prevents the effects of the held item of the Pokemon with this ability from applying. So it doesn't allow me with my mental. So it cancels out the effect of your held item. So he had the lagging tail. So he's canceling that out. Um, we could go here and just quash. That's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna quash you and get rid of the Nicola. Because he thinks that he's faster than me, so I'm just gonna quash it at this point. But my mental herb doesn't work. That's fine. That's totally fine. He's gonna fake out. My hell, dude, how dare you? Quash, we're gonna get no value out of it. I could swap next turn. It depends what I wanna do, but what's Lopin he going for? He's gonna U-turn out, and I can get that out, which is cool. So he turns out, he's gonna go back into Breedlum here. And a mock punch is kinda scaring me, I'm not gonna lie. I could change up weather. I mean, I think I kinda saved this one to be fine. But a mock punch is definitely scaring me. What about Quash here? What do I do here? Quash gonna do nothing. It's gonna fail. Do I go after that Ludicolo again? I think Breedloom could take me out with a Mach Punch. I could just go here and knock off that item and protect this turn. That's exactly what I'm gonna do. Yeah, Breedloom can Mach Punch. He has a lot of speed on me. I don't I don't like this. I don't like this one. I don't like this one bit. I still have the Guard in the back end. Guard is gonna work wonder. So the Mach Punch was coming in hot. I can deal with that. And this thing is going for a Giga Drain, which you should be able to eat up. I mean, this thing soaks up. I was gonna give him the Citrus Berry. I was gonna give him the Citrus Berry, but it's pretty good that we get rid of the Ludicolo's. Uh, that we get rid of this Ludicolo's uh, what's it called item. So we're gonna knock off its life. That's huge. It's huge. We love it. We love it. Now I'm gonna go for the Quash here. And actually, dude, what comes out first? Quash should come out here first as Prankster, so. I'm thinking it can. I'll go for a flamethrower if I can, but I don't know. I think Breedloom might outspeed with that Mach Punch. He does, that's annoying. That's annoying. So I go down that, I waste a turn. He's probably just gonna take me out, but I don't think I'm sitting bad. Right? He has a low pony, I just choice into a uh, Gardevoir Dazzle Gleam. And we can roll out pretty strong. I could also protect my uh, my T-Tar, but, but we get rid of Weather. Because we know that that Mach Punch is four times super effective. I'm just gonna protect Titar here. I'm just going to go straight into a Dazzle Gleam. We're gonna roll for that. I kinda like this. I kinda like this. Good old Dazzle Gleam. Good old Gleamy Gleam. Gleamy Gleam. And we get rid of Weather. So this is a solid first. Boy, Houndoom got started strong. I probably should have swapped them knowing the Mach Punch was coming in, but who was I gonna swap into? Right? Like Titar? Titar just gets dumped on by it. Yeah, I'm just protect. I'm going to drop the Gleam. I'm gonna try to get rid of these Pokemon. Let's do it. So Titar's gonna protect. I think Breloom is faster than me, and I think he's going into a Mach Punch. Let's see. I don't think any of them are protecting, right? No Mach Punch comes out here. We can Leem up. Leem's going to drop that thing down to Sash. Buffett's is going to take that out. And we're coming down to the wire here. We're coming down to the wire. If he read my protect, he can win this match. Let's see what he does. We can go for a Spore. A Spore. How dare you? How dare you? A Spore coming out here. But still, we get ready to Breloom, which I really like. Giga Drain's going to get blocked, so it's a big time turn for us. That's a big time turn for us. Big time turn from us. We can also Giga Drain me again. Kind of scared of it. But we got rid of this Breloom, which is really big for us. The so Breloom's gone. We don't have to worry about the four times super effective Mach Punch coming here. But I have to deal with Low Pony. Isn't Low Pony, is it fighting type or is it just straight up normal? What is Low Pony? Good thing I have another monitor. Good thing I have another monitor. So we already looked up Clutch. So we can look up Low Pony's typing. Let's see. I know it learns Fake Out, I'm pretty sure. That could be tough. Is it fighting? I think it's fighting, right? Let's see. It is. No, it's just normal. Mega low punnies fighting. Cool. But it might learn a nice little coverage fighting. It's kind of scary, but at this point, you know, we gotta go for a rock slide. 
I'm gonna go for Rock Slide and then I'm choice to Green can do some big damage, but I'm worried about the Giga Drain. Can you go next, Utar? Can you outspeed this Ludicolo, please? I'm going for a U turn. It's gonna be super effective, but I'm hoping that my Titar can just outspeed this Ludicolo and get rid of it. Does outspeed? Did we KO? I think it can. There's a Lumberry. Let's go. Let's go. Big time KO. And that's gonna be GG's. It's going to wrap up the battle. Let's go. Jeans in battle number one. Getting that Houndoom out there. Nasty Pot setting it up. Picking up a big time KO on the Pelipper. Then changing the weather with Rain and bringing out Gardevoir and Titar for the win. That's big plays from us. Big time plays from us. Big time plays. I'll go for a crunch because it's higher accuracy. And then Gleam. Hopefully we wake up here. And it's just game over. Right? Send it. Get this guy out of my Coliseum. Want to know to get us started? Nope. Gardevoir's still asleep. Gardevoir's still asleep. So what's the open you going for? You turn again. Guess it doesn't have a fighting move. We soak that up all day. We soak it up all day long. But punch is going to connect here. High accuracy on it. That's going to be GG's and 1 0 to get this video started. Second battle coming at you guys. We're going up against the same opponent, but they did switch teams. He has a very strong team. Of a very, very strong team. He's rocking out with Ambipom, Latios, Prankster, Murkrow, probably with Focus Ash, and then he's got Charizard, Scizor, and Gastron. Okay, how should I play this one? I think. This Sableye is going to be nice. In case he wants to set up Prankster with Tailwind, he could do a lot of work with that. So I kind of want to go into there. And then at the same time, I kind of want to lead a Pokemon like Garbage. Or Inner Focus Raikou. So if he wants to go into a fake out Pokemon, we can actually just uh, get it for it that way. So, you know, I'm with that all day. We're going to go Sableye. We're going to go Raikou here. I kind of want to bring in Houndoom just in case of that Scissor. So we have a Pokemon to get rid of that. And then last but not least, I'm leaning towards Gyarados. Because Gyarados is super effective up against the Charizard, the Murkrow, the Latios. And you can kind of soak up somewhat shots from Scizor. So it's not too bad. Or I can bring in T-Tar. T-Tar is not too bad, but again, Scizor kind of can rip into it and do a lot. So I'm leaning towards Gyarados here. All right, Gyarados good. I can't bring Gardevoir because if Scizor comes in here, it just rips up in the Gardevoir. But it's all good. It's all good. I'm going to lock in the squad. We're going to look to go back to back here. But yeah, I definitely want to bring Houndoom again. Houndoom did some work in Battle Number 1. He's going to end up going these two, which I'm totally cool with. I'm totally cool with like... Mm, the thunder, what do I do here? What do I do here? Do I Thunderbolt the what's called? The Murkrow with a fake out and fake it out too? That could be good. I don't have to worry about a Dynamax Charizard in this game, so I kind of like that. I'm just going to fake out the Murkrow. I don't want him setting up a Tailwind. I really do not want that happening. Plus, Raikou can somewhat so soak up some shots and then I can start Snarling. I can Quash. I can do a lot here. I can do a lot. He's going to end up with Trawling Charizard. I love it. He's going to go into Gastrodon. He's going to go into Gastrodon. So he's going to pull his Gastrodon out here. Or, oh, okay, or even a Scissor. He's going to withdraw the Murkrow. You go, don't go into Gashon on this side. That'd be a heck of a play. It's going to be Ambipom. So he double swaps here. He double swaps and he can't fake me out, which is really good. And Thunderbolt's going to come through here and chip up some nice damage on Ambipom. So the double swap, I was definitely not expecting that. Definitely not expecting that. But from here, I am just going to take off your item. And I think I'm just going to Thunderbolt straight into here. We have Inner Focus. We can't be faked out. We're Ghost on the other slot. I like that. I'm hoping he he doesn't know that we're in a focus and he kind of goes for a fake out. No, he's going to go straight for a double hit. So he knows. Wow. Wow, that damage on that Raikou is ridiculous. Some big time damage. Raikou's going to drop a Thunderbolt, which is huge. We get rid of Ambipom, which is nice. It's real nice. And I'm not really too worried about that Murkrow and Charles. Yeah, just in the, in the back end. I do like it. And he's going to go for an Iron Head here, which you should be able to soak up. Some big damage. No flinch comes out here and we get all the off and up. That's huge. But I don't know where you're holding. Iron Plate. So we get rid of your Iron Plate. I do dig that. You dig that. So at this point, I think he goes into Murkrow. And Murkrow can just easily set up a Tailwind at this point. So what I might want to do is... Do I start getting after a Scizor? I could definitely start getting after a Scizor. No, he's going to go on Charizard. Okay, I'm going to quash a Charizard and Thunderbolt it. I'm going to play all day, right? That got to be my play. Probably like... It's probably like I outspeed him a lot, so... I don't think he's going to protect. I do not think he protects. He goes for a bullet punch. Yeah, we should have soaked that up. We do not. We do not. I'm surprised the bullet punch came out before the quash, but he has higher speed than me. You go first, Raikou? You do. That's even better. So the quash was not even needed. The quash was not even needed. So Raikou comes in here, absolutely dumps on Charizard, and we have Thrive here. So now he has Scissor, and he has Murkrow. Okay, I'm just going to bring out Houndoom, Flamethrower that, that slot down, and Thunderbolt the other slot. I'm loving it. That's GG's, yo. That's GG's. We're buzzing with Houndoom. We are buzzing with the Houndoom squad. Plus, we got him in right here. He's terrified of this. He's terrified of this Pokemon right here. We coming in hot with him. Houndoom running up. If I had to guess, you know, the Focus Ash is probably on the Murkrow. I'm just Flamethrower drop this thing four times super effective, and I'm not going to over. Flamethrower. Easy plays are going to win me the battles. 
and this guy quit totally shut off the switch you love to see it. we can have to a third and final battle find a brand new opponent and look to grab ourselves a perfect record for today's video our last opponent was probably sitting there which is like if hound doom comes out here i'm turning off my switch hound doom came out there for most he was just like nah i'm done turned off his switch and rage quit the battle but yo we're rocking in battle number three we're looking for a perfect record for today's video and he has a jump bluff and an Azumarill. Azumarill is kind of scaring me because it can set a belly drum, but then he also has Latios, Heatran, Articuno, and Hitmontop, who I think he's going to lead. I think he's definitely going to lead a Hitmontop, right? Hitmontop is probably going to be, be lead. Sableye is, Sableye is just so good all around, and I really like using him. So you know what? I am going to go Sableye here. I just feel like we get a lot of work done with him, and I could also go Hound him. I could also go Hound him here, maybe protect turn one, kind of just see what's going on. Or I want to actually see your speed. But I, like, what's called is definitely going to get that lead. Him on top, right? So this fake out is going to come out here first. So I'm going to go Hound Doom. I'm going to go Sableye again. Try to get that combo rolling. Got to bring Gyarados in here. Gyarados just does work up against a lot of these guys. And then last but not least, do so I bring Raikou? Or Gardevoir? Or Titar? Titar's not too bad here. Hmm. I'm kind of leaning towards, uh... I don't lean towards Titar a little bit. I just like Titar. I just like him with the rock moves. Yeah, I'm gonna lock him in. I'm gonna lock him down. We're gonna look to grab ourselves that perfect record with this lovely nasty plot and Hound Doom team. I don't mind Titar. Titar's good in like every single team, you know? He's just super good all around. He's gonna end up leading. Okay, I have Flash Fire, which is great. I have Flash Fire. I'm gonna go with these two. Ah! Uh, what do I fake out there? I, fake, I don't really wanna fake out the heat. I'm kinda worried about the him on top. So, you know, I'm gonna fake out the him on top. And Intimidate's gonna come out here. It's fine. Sableye doesn't really, like, he has one move that's physical attacking. It's kind of just for taking off items. And my Houndoom over here is just chilling with him. The what's it called? With the... What is it? Special attack. So he's going to fake out my Houndoom. Okay, that's fine. Should have faked out his Heatran. I knew. I should have. Why, why didn't I fake out the Heatran? That's kind of dumb. Go into a Heat Wave, please. What are you going into? Earth Power. Oh! See you, Houndoom. That one hurts. Well, time to bring out the big guns. Time to bring out the big guns. We're rolling out with Gyarados. Well, I had enough of this guy. I had enough of this guy. Bring me Gyarados out here. We're going to bring out Gyarados. Um, I think he's going to swap the Heatran. I really do. So I'm just going to Dragon Dance here. I'm going to take off the item of what Pokemon he's swapping out. Right? Makes the most sense. Because I'm not really worried about that him on top. I'll Dragon Dance set up. I'm going to look for the sweep. Right? It makes the most sense. You have to swap him. You have to swap him. Go ahead, swap the heat turn. Just swap him. Just swap him already into the Azumarill. I know you got Azumarill in there. Or you might not. I don't know. It's tough, but I'm not worried about the him on top. I'm super surprised that he uh, had Earth Power, but that was my fault. I knew the him on top outsped us, and I, I should have known not to fake that slot out. I should have just faked out the heat turn and had an even turn. So there's the withdrawal on the heat turn on the him on top. What are you going into? I'm so confused. Going into him. Are you protect? He's not protect. What is he? You're just leaving this Heatran B? You have Thunderbolt or something <laughs> that I don't know of? It's fine. Let's see what he does. He's gonna go for a Heat Wave. Yeah, I just dodge that. Take that dodge. We got Dragon Dance set up. No burns, right? No burns, awesome. And then we're gonna say, hey, yeah, that item right there, give it to me. So we take that item, we get rid of his Chopper Berry. Cool. And then I could just, uh. What do I do here? What do I do here? Because Gyarados should be able to outspeed him. We should kind of be able to fly through here. I'm kind of thinking of just swapping into Titar here. And just rolling out from there and just going into a nice little place. Because again, he has to maybe protect or swap this turn, right? There's a withdrawal on who? There it is. Okay, cool. Wait. I was waiting for it. Who are you going to go into now? And my top comes back here. Okay, that's not a bad Now he's pick out ready to roll. I'm still plus one on speed. Still plus one on speed. So I don't think we can kill the Latios now, but still, we can swap here and get something wrong. If we swap him, we're going to save the fake outs and the quashes for later. And t going to come out here. Okay. I, I don't mind that turn. I don't mind Gyarados being back even. And us being plus one. Ice Fang's going to come out here. We have a speed. And it's going to chip up some mean damage. That plus one probably would have been able to pick up the KO, but it'd be like this. Didn't end up going for... Oh my god, this thing's ripping the thunder Guys, just this dude just punking on me. He's just slapping up on me. He has fake out ready to roll. Um, I'm gonna fake out the Latios. That thing is. That thing is. 
I don't think we're gonna get swept due to buffets and all that stuff. But I think if we just, uh, I don't think we, do we protect? Do we protect? I don't think we protect. Cause maybe he might read the uh, fake out, right? He might read the protect. If he fakes me out, he fakes me out. It's really no big deal. But I'm going to dragon ants here. I'm gonna go for dragon ants. And then I'm just gonna go for a knock off to try to finish this thing off. Or I just fake it out. Fake out. Just fake it out to finish it off. That works for us. He's gonna go for the fake out. He ended up going for it. It's totally fine. It's not a big deal. He's not a big deal. I'm gonna fake out his Latios and we're gonna finish that thing off. So we don't get swept here in battle number three. We don't get swept here in battle number three. He had two coverage moves that really did us dirty that I was not expecting. That's what's so good about coverage moves. You never expect them. They just come out of nowhere. And like, oh my god. But the problem that we have here is going to be this hit on top dropping a close combat into my into my T-Tar. Because we know that's four times super effective. I could just double me. So we might just have to double down into this uh into this hit on top. Maybe look for a flinch with a rock slide. Hit it with a knockoff. Kind of go from there. Where do I quash it? No, I think we got a rock slide. Oh, a zoom out here too. We don't like that. We don't like a zoom rail one bit. This sucks because hit on top eats up a lot of this stuff. But we're looking for the flinches here. We are looking for the flinches. We have not very effective moves. This battle is not looking good whatsoever. Aqua Jets could come out here too. We know a zoom rail does learn Aqua. But yeah, the coverage moves were huge. He's gonna withdraw the hammer. Rockside and knock off. Right here on for this. E-Tran. That was actually a pretty decent swap. Rockside's gonna come out here. Can we get a flinch on the zoom rail? That would be pretty good if we can flinch the zoom. And we do not. He just drops the player off and we're dead, right? Yeah, we're dead. We are dead. A zoom rail is actually super strong and very underrated. But yeah, Sableye's not gonna be able to do too much here. We don't get swept in battle number three, but more importantly, we grab ourselves a winning record for today's video, which is really cool. Which is really solid. Especially with Houndoom. Houndoom was awesome. He was awesome. He came out there in the second battle. He was going to win it for us. He was going to drop a flamethrower to finish off the scissor. And then in the first battle, we had it nasty pot set up, dump on the Pelipper, and get the battle started. We had some quick battles in today's video. Hopefully, you guys still enjoyed because we grabbed ourselves a nice, lovely winning record. Like I said, the battles were rather quick, but I thought they were pretty good all around. We got to showcase Houndoom. We got to get out Raikou. We got Gardevoir out there. I think we used every single Pokemon on the team, which is really cool and really awesome. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spend some positive today. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.